We are converting a Fiat Ducato and we are now insulating the floor of our van. Yep, that's this episode, floor of the van. Uh, most people do the whole battery thing and then cut in all the insulation to go in between. Um, we may have mentioned this before, but we go to cold places. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take two. The tripod kept falling over. It was the tripod. No, <laughs> um, what we bodged up kept falling over. All right, start that bit again. Yeah, as you guys may know, we plan on going to some cold places in our van. And so one of the things that we want to try and do is insulate the floor as best possible. And we figure the best way of doing that is to not use any battens on the floor. So what we're going to do uh, is glue it all down. And in this episode, that's what we're going to show you uh, how we do that. All right. So rather than just keep talking about it, I guess. Uh, let's show you. Let's get on with it. Okie doke. So we're about to cut the NAS board. Um, that is the sort of semi-rigid foam insulation. I've just had it out of the box. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Uh, so looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward. Just the same as cutting insulation, you know, like CLX, CL, CLS, Celotex, um, or Kingspan, whatever you're using in the trade. We always used to call it Celotex, even though it was just the PIR insulation. Um, so yeah, uh, a little nod to Dan Chambers uh, off of uh, Dan and Abbey fame or DAC Industries. Um, I took his advice and just got a few of these off of uh, Interweb. Uh, just real basic, cheap as chips. Knives where you just sort of break the end off. Um, you can probably find them in like a pound shop or something. Yeah, so here it is. Here's the NAS board. Um, I'll break a corner off so you can sort of kind of, yeah, just get a bit of a a look at it but essentially it's it's quite tough I and mean, you can't particularly compress it with your fingers which is a good thing because it means therefore you know when you're working in there and walking around and stuff I'm not going to end up denting it so yeah here I am so I need 50 mil strips to go in between my ribs uh, this is 50 mil so basically I'm just going to use this as a rule uh, and just knife off uh, strips of it There it is, nice clean cut. Here's my ribs. And that is that. So obviously that's gonna go in it, all of the ribs there, bridge the gap, then the uh, salad tech has got a couple of pieces here, just for illustration purposes. It's gonna go on top of that. And that's basically that. What I'm going to be doing right now is getting these things out and I'm going to pull them out. I want to seal up underneath there so that none of the water and splashes and stuff from underside can actually come through. Um, and so um, basically I'm just going to run a little bit of silicon. Uh, I've got some stuff sort of left over from, uh, from a job uh, not so long ago. And to smooth it off because silicon can be a messy job. Uh, we use a little bit of washing up liquid and water in a spray bottle. It just gives you that kind of slipperiness. So that basically after you uh, put your sealant on and before you wipe it off, you spray this onto everything around the area. And then as you then basically wipe it, um, the silicon can't spread onto any other surface if the washing up liquid and water is on that surface. So let me just show you. And if some of you are wondering, you know, why would you bother putting this back in again? Well, I have two reasons. One, the thread is uh, is likely to be uh, a much better seal than anything else. And secondly, if in the future, a big if, I ever wanted to use these, then they're still here. So there we go. That's that. And the other good thing about this is that when you get it on your fingers, if you think, provided your fingers are wet with the soapy water, you can just literally peel it off and it's good. So moving on now to the van floor. And 
as previously mentioned, we are gluing our van floor down uh, as opposed to using battens. Uh, this way we can ensure there's no thermal bridging from the underside of the van coming up through to the inside. So everything is nicely thermally sealed. How we're doing that is we're using some uh, sticks all uh, or hybrid silicon. Uh, you can look it up in Toolstation Screw Fix. Uh, we then uh, gluing the NAS board down into the ribs. And once the NAS board is down and glued, then over the top of that, we will have our Celotex, which is also glued with the hybrid seal. So it seems you like to get everything your way. You're a crazy man, proper nut job. But make wise words you say. Speaking for myself, we're a little off key. And we're softer down these stairs. But you're insane when you're licking your wounds. You like you just don't care. Come into us. See how you feel. Cause us, we're from. <laughs> oh, we wish we could keep it this way. It actually is quite a good look, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, the kids want to get in there with the disco lights. <laughs> it was very, very, very Flashy. reflective. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks really cool. You can't really walk on it though because you're going to end up just like yeah. damaging all the boards and stuff. So, um, next thing is to get the timber floor down. Yeah. Um, so, that is our next video. But did you like the installation? Oh, I hate it. Yeah, it just took me back to my building days. And uh, that was one of the most horrible jobs. The insulation gets everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's quite dangerous stuff as well to breathe in. So don't do that. We ought to record an intro. Like what? Like, you know, when we, so we don't have to keep saying, oh, hello, I'm Dave. <laughs> and I'm Jeff. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Well, anything you'd like to add? Cheerio. All right, until next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.